you know, you could be in Alabama. Your, your seasonal temperature might be 65 degrees. Well, if it's 70, you're going to start seeing this bell curve going down. And that's what's going to affect deer behavior. This affects all deer behavior, like you said, Rocky, but it really affects pressured deer. Deer are pressured enough, especially when you're talking about highly pressured deer, a year and a half old buck and a two and a half year old buck will come unglued at you trying to draw your bow. Weather affects them even more than that. Because number one, now they're uncomfortable and they're not getting up much during the day at all anyways. Guess what? You just made that animal nocturnal. You didn't, but the weather did. It made it more nocturnal. Barometric pressure studies. This is another one. Write this down. Post it on your calendar. Post it in your pickup truck. But when you're listening, we're all fanatics about the weather. We wake up, we, we turn on the weather channel, we go on the internet, we look up what wind's doing today, how cold is it today. How many of you actually measure or keep track of the barometer? They always say it in the weather every night. The barometric pressure is X and rising or falling or being or staying steady. The magical number here, and this we found out through research, is 29.8 to 30.29. If it's in that range, rising or falling, you want to be in the woods during the, during the hunting season. That is the best time to hunt, and that has been shown even on pressured deer. That range, 29.8 to 30.29, rising or falling, is going to increase the deer's need to get up and move it, get up and move.